spoke earlier today with former state trooper and local defense attorney John Elmore for his perspective on today's verdict. And first, let me ask you your reaction on the three guilty verdicts, guilty on all three counts today. Well, first of all, it's not a day to rejoice. Uh, George Floyd is dead. Uh, Mr. Ch Officer Chauvin is going to jail. So it's not to, nothing to clap about, applaud about. It's a sad day. Uh, but the jury came out with the right decision. And the, the, the thing that really excites me is, is the way that it happened. Uh, it, it set a model uh, which I think will create change across America. You had an attorney general who was independent, who investigated the case and prosecuted it. Normally, police prosecutions in the past uh, haven't been successful, but they've been prosecuted by local district attorneys who have an inherent uh, conflict of interest in prosecuting police officers who are uh, they, they, they have a, a relationship with because of all the cases that they need the, the local police officers to testify against. John, you have quite a resume, uh, an attorney, a former state trooper, also an assistant DA in Manhattan, so you've got the chops. Let's talk about systemic change. Change needs to happen from the top, correct? I, I, I believe so. I, and the type of changes that we need in, in police reform, first of all, we need more community policing. I mean, if you look in Western New York and the number of homicides in the east side of Buffalo, a lot, you know, people know who committed those homicides, but because of the strained relationships between the police and the African American community, you don't have people willing to testify uh, against those that are doing wrong. We need an early warning system so you can identify bad police officers early and, and get them trained and shaped up, or, or if they don't shape up, then boot it off the police department. We need citizen involvement on the on police civilian review boards. You know, today we just have police officers judging themselves, and, and oftentimes you have police officers over and over and over again that where there are citizens complaints filed against them uh, that just get off, and, are, and are, those complaints are found uh, to be unfounded. And then we need independent prosecutors, like in Minnesota, where you had the attorney general who was completely independent from the local police officers prosecute the case, and that's what we need uh, in New York State. Local attorney John Elmore. John, always great to have you on Channel 2 News. Thanks for your time tonight, sir. Thank you for having me.